right, so this is the bottom of the RX-8 seats. So as you can see here, over here I have the driver's seat. Here is the passenger seat. So we're kind of looking at them a little backwards. Most people would prefer to look at drivers first, but I don't really care at this point. So what I'm going to be doing is running over like how to configure this bottom side to get these to sit as low as possible in the car. So that way you don't have issues with fitment, uh, with like the top of the seat hitting the top of the roof of the car because these cars are so much smaller than RX-8s as far as headroom. Um, just to kind of run over the general configuration that you're going to want to follow when you run these type of seats. So the basic premise is to get this stuff as flat to the bottom as we can. So anything that's sticking up above this flat rail, we want to get off. So this is a little bracket that's going to come off. This uh, little rotating bracket comes off. This bracket is bracket that holds the Takata controller for the airbags in the airbag module for the seat. Most of this uh, doesn't have to be run, but we'll go through the wiring with that in a later episode. Bracket up front comes off here. This little stud on both sides is going to get ground off. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here removing all of these. So it's basically just socket, socket and uh, ratchet work or if you feel so inclined an impact. Uh, not really too terribly difficult. So what I'll probably do here is just do like a quick timeline. Um, I'll do a, not a timeline, a... Uh, time lapse and that way you can just kind of watch like everything that comes out and then I'll run over it at the end with everybody because then in that way you guys don't have to sit here and watch me undoing all of these bolts individually because I'm already bored so let's go ahead and do that timeline starting about now I will catch you guys at the end of the little sequence here
So I just finished this up here. This is the passenger side seat rail all buzzed down, flattened, ground off, ready to be welded on. So finished this project up and got that all done. Pile of scrap over here, just junk everywhere on the bench. And the driver side is also done as well. So that is going to be the conclusion here of what it's like to prep the RX-8 seats for install in a first gen RX-7. Um, it's not too complicated. I think that was only like 45 minutes or so of cutting, grinding, uh, sawing, everything to get the brackets off of the RX-8 seats. Uh, the next step here is going to be to take the uh, aftermarket brackets that I have and to set them in the car after bending them. They'll get bent up and uh, set down, bolted down, and then I'll set the RX-8 seats in the car itself on the rails. Once that's done, I can tack weld at least two, maybe four tack welds per side of the rail, and I'll try to make sure that it's positioned exactly where I want it, as straight as it can be. So that way when I get the seat out with the rails on it, I can fully weld the rails exactly where they need to be, and I won't avoid any um, like movement of the seat when I'm trying to get it all bolted down. So that's going to be in the next installment here, next episode of this little series. Uh, this is Austin with Dream and Rotary. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll try to respond to everything that I can. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next episode.